Hey guys, this will be my first main video for Terra, like a proper one. Um, this is a run through of the dungeon Baldur's Temple, one of the level 60 dungeons, and um, one of the two main ones, the harder one actually as well, um, this temple. Um, and it's also a showcase of the um, the combat system. If you uh, haven't seen the combat system for Terra, it's very different for an uh, MMO, in, well, that I've played anyway. Uh, it's a true action combat system. Um, right here, I'm fighting Kakun, this is the first boss. Um, it's a giant baboon type uh, gorilla. Um, he's pretty standard. Um, you tank him and uh, DPS him down. Um, but there are a few things you have to worry about, namely that uh, attack there, um, and also a random banana sort of throwing grenade sort of attack, which is like uh, he just basically stands in one place and throws uh, explosives uh, around him in, in some in some pots. I, I'm guessing just like bananas. Um, and every now and again he'll run away to a tree, well one of these two trees down here, they're always in the same place. And you have to uh, DPS those trees down um, to knock him down. If you don't do it fast enough, he will wipe half your group um, or all your group, depending on on what happens. But that's uh, only happened like once for me. Um, so yeah, he falls down like that, and you just uh, attack him down some more. This is fairly simple. It's a pretty straightforward fight. Um, you basically repeat this until he's dead. Um, he does jump around quite a lot. Um, we've almost killed him just here. I'm going to be skipping through most of uh, most of the fights um, and only focus on the important bits. Otherwise, we'll be here all day um, watching me DPS down um, a mob. Um, I'm also going to be skipping most of the trash as well, um, unless it's important. Um, so yeah, we've just killed him and the temple gate opens leading us on to the next area, which is a um, a maze. Now, maze um, route, this is one of the maze routes. There's two maze routes. I think one goes to one door, the other goes to the other door. Um, we're gonna go to the lightning room, I guess you could call it, um, with, one of the, with the next boss, which is Grig. Um, we're gonna be doing Grig. Um, which is a lightning kuma. Now if you've played Terra, um, so if you're watching this because you want to know how to get through Boulder's Temple, um, Grig is a kuma. He's an electric, a uh, sort of electric attack using kuma. who has a few debuffs. Um, oh yeah, to uh, get rid of the aggro from what you've, whatever you've pulled, just jump into the pot. Into the pot, yes. And you lose the aggro. I'm guessing that's what happens anyway. Um, yeah, in into the pot. There we go. And um, yeah, so yeah, you just want to kill all the uh, the trash mobs which are just around. They're pretty simple. Um, a tank usually just could pull them all and just kill them, DPS them down. Um, there is a little debuff from standing in the water if you don't have your damping cloth, but it's not a big deal. So yeah, the boss. Now the boss seems to give a pretty nasty um, wound um, if he attacks you or if he hits you. Um, which you'll probably see in a second. There we go. Um, I think it does quite a bit of damage over time. And every now and again, um, the main thing to worry about in this fight is the boss will spawn Kumas, mini ones. Um, I think he targets me first. There we go. And it'll target one person and one person <coughs> only. And then you have to run into the pool, one of the two pools, which is on the side here. Um, and, uh... Someone, or yourself, if you're good enough, which I'm not, um, but someone will then turn on the power uh, to the pool and electrocute them and kill them. Um, they are not killable by yourself. You cannot DPS them down with normal attacks. This is the only way to kill them. If you do not kill them, they will multiply and multiply until they overwhelm your group. Um, they do kill you pretty quickly. Uh, I didn't know you could stand in the pool when it was going off with lightning, so that's why I jumped out nice and quick. Um, this is actually where I found out I could just stand in the pool while it was, you know, lightning off. Because um, there we go. And I was like, oh, I didn't die or take any damage. Oh well. All this time. But yeah, I'm, this uh, took quite a bit of time, actually. Our DPS was quite slow on this fight. 
um, for some reason. No idea why. Um, just sometimes it just happens, I guess. Um, so I'm going to skip through most of it because that's pretty much the main thing you need to worry about. Um, the Kumas, if someone else is running into the Kumas there. And it's just basically a tank and spank from that point on. Um, the other fight, which is a tree boss, is easier than this. Um, basically just to dodge trees when they come and DPS and down. It's quite simple. Um, this one's a bit more interesting, so I thought uh, it's better to showcase this. He's basically, his attacks are basically the same as normal Kumas, apart from um, that uh, spread sort of electric bomb attack he, just, he did and the... Um, the sort of bomb on the floor jump back attack. Yeah. But other than that, he's pretty much an, an average Kuma. So now we've almost killed him. Um, and we'll be going on to the next room after this. Um, he doesn't really drop anything important. Um, he drops a few golds, um, maybe some baby size, like some earrings, but they're pretty useless. And they're pretty cheap, they're not really worth anything. Um, oh dear. So yeah, th that took a bit too long, to be honest, that was a very badly done run of that boss. Um, but you know, get, we, got it, we got it done, um, kind of explain how to do it. This is Glacinarius, or Glacianus, I think, Gla Gla Glacianus. Basically another Kuma. Um, this one has a different um, thing to look out for, which is the sort of rapid firing orb fireball totems which stand in, around the room um, they will target one random person during the fight and they will um, basically send a load of fireballs to that one person uh, in a straight line they don't home in on you or anything um, but what you need to do if they do lock onto you is run away from the group so the the flood the, and then basically just dodge them all by yourself um, because if you stand next to the group, everyone's going to be pelted with fireballs. They do a fair bit of damage, about 4,000 damage to me, um, everyone that hits. Um, but they're fairly easy to dodge, they, they go in a straight line, that's not a big deal. Um, so yeah, this one's almost done. That's practically all you need to know about that, that fight, it's pretty straightforward. Um, he doesn't have a death animation, this one. I never, I mean, I always wondered that. He doesn't have a death, anima uh, death animation, he just sort of fades into the into nothingness like that oh well so yeah he drops uh, a chest which you know has all the loot and stuff in it um just basically some bind on pick up stuff nothing special um and then a mirror will will appear at which point you can uh go through to the next challenge which is a pot challenge yes a pot challenge um this is a very strange addition um it's it, like it's a pot challenge Basically, um, loads of pots will spawn, and you have to find the one with the most health, because most of them just take a couple of hits to destroy. Um, you have to find the one with the most health, and basically DPS it down. There it is. Um, now, they could either appear right next to um, the other pot, or they could appear absolutely, you know, the worst place ever. So, like, this one, there you go, right next to the pot, um, <laughs> which is nice and lucky. Or, you know, you could go around the entire room, um, destroy absolutely every freaking pot, and realise that um, the, the last one is is the actual pot which you need. Um, but, you know, I, mean, if, I think if you fail, you die. I've never failed that challenge before. It's pretty simple. Um, and, yeah, after this, you get onto the final boss, which is uh, Oricadis. I think it's, it's pronounced Oricadis. And it's the final boss of Baldur's Temple, which is also one of the harder bosses in the game. Mainly because of the last 30%, which I'll talk a bit more once we get there. Okay, we're on to Oricadis. Um, this is a sort of machine boss. And there's a few things to worry about for in this, um, namely his um, fairly high power attacks. Um, he moves around quite a bit, he flies around quite a bit, so the tank's got to be on him quite quite, um, quite a lot. Um, and about 70% I think, maybe 70%, um, some mirrors will spawn. 
Um, and also a cannon will also spawn when the purifier is active, um, which you'll see in a, in a bit. Um, now, what, what happens when the mirror spawn is that someone's going to be targeted and they'll start to go blind. Um, a message will appear on the screen saying a name um, cannot see the truth, I think it is. Um, and they'll, their screen will suddenly start going dark um, until they can't see anything. Um, and then after that, a pure, the purifier will activate. Um, and uh, a cannon will appear. At which point you have to use the mirror to um, allow that person to see again, whoever went blind, and use the cannon to knock Arachidas on his back um, to stop stop him issuing a rather deadly attack on your group. Um, if you do happen to miss with the cannon, you can run behind the pillars and avoid the attack, um, but generally you shouldn't be it shouldn't, shouldn't be a problem. You should hit every time. Um, it's not that difficult. Um, um, generally, if uh, the person that's on the um, the cannon will be either a long range DPS or um, the healer. So here we go. Um, I think someone went uh, blind and the purifier activated, and then someone hit him with the cannon. Um, and then yeah, you just keep hitting him down until you get to thirty percent, um, which is you know fairly simple at that point. Well. Fairly simple, considering you stay on top of everything. Okay, now we've hit 30%. Now this is basically the DPS race. Um, everybody that can DPS basically goes all out with their damage and just keeps hitting it and hitting it and hitting it. Stick to it like glue, interrupt it, its uh, laser walks, try and interrupt its flights as well, um, try you know, basically to keep it in one place as much as possible. Um, so he, he, he did laser walk there, but we managed to interrupt him. He actually pulled us in, which actually helped us um, there. Um, but you want to try and keep the DPS up, keep always on him. Do not stop, do not let up. Um, and basically, your screen will gradually start turning dark as if you're going blind. Um, like the mirrors. The mirrors won't do anything, obviously. I think the mirrors aren't even there anymore. Um, but yeah, basically, that's the, that, that's your timer. You have to kill this thing in about three or four minutes. Um, if you don't kill it in three or four minutes, your entire group will die without fail. Um, so yeah, you have to basically DPS the hell out of it. Um, basically, hit all your scrolls. Uh, keep your attacks going. Try and dodge as much as possible so you don't need as many uh, heals. Um, and try and, I guess, dodge his, his main attacks because he has a few um, air of effect attacks. Um, well, I guess you could call them air of effect attacks, like his laser... Um, his laser pools that he puts on the floor, um, which do quite a bit of damage. almost died there, actually. Um, and basically, even if you think your screen is getting too dark and you're going to run out of time, keep going anyway, um, because you might still do it. Um, don't let up. Even if someone dies and you know, everything's looking pretty grim, um, just keep DPSing if you can. Um, I've had some pretty close calls in the past, um, but we've still managed to kill him. Um, so our screens, my screen's going pretty dark here, and I'm starting to think, oh no, we're running out of time. And we've only got a little bit of little bit of health left, um, and it's going really dark. And I'm thinking, oh my god, you're not going to make it. But you just keep DPSing, keep DPSing anyway, and bang, you get it. So uh, on this on this uh, run, we got the enigmatic day slayer, which is a, a slayer weapon, which is basically what you're running this for. Um, and that's Boulder Temple, guys. So I hope you uh, this was informative in some ways. If you uh, are interested in terror, I do recommend it. It's a very fun game, very different to other MMOs, and uh, I'll probably have some more terror videos coming in the future, so thanks.